All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we're having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Nana Wildfire, which is being made by forum user Kimiko, and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a basic fire simulation system, and that is both terrifying and awesome. I absolutely love this mod. It's another one of those sort of mods to add a bit more realism into the game and of course more consequences for your bad piloting, shall we say. And essentially how it works is now whenever any of your parts get overheated, damaged, or if you know you have a light little tumble during a crash landing, quote unquote, there is the potential for whatever parts do get damaged for them to catch on fire. And if it does catch fire, that part will slowly overheat over the course of, well, I say slowly, but really you only have a few seconds, until it goes pop and it's gone. And the worst part is, is that part, while it's on fire, has a chance to spread that fire to adjacent parts, causing a terrible chain reaction of events that could engulf your entire craft in fire and subsequent explosions. And that's really not what you want out of things. So it, it basically aims to make it so that you no longer have that mentality of, oh, well, I no longer need that part anyways. You really want to keep your whole ship intact with this mod because it might just catch on fire if you don't. And I... <laughs> I love it. And besides, who doesn't like fire? So let's start off by jumping into the VAB and having a gander at two parts that are added in by this mod. So let's grab the Mark 1-2 command pod and head to the utilities tab where we'll find two very unoriginal models. <laughs> uh, this, I, I, I must really point out at the beginning here, uh, this is very much still a work in progress mod. I believe they're considering it a beta at the moment, but it's already at a point that I really think it's very cool and wanted to show it off. Uh, but that means some things aren't quite right yet, some things aren't quite set, finally. And of course, for these two parts that are added in, they don't have their own custom models yet. Not even a custom texture, sadly. But the two parts are the Nana Automatic Fire Extinguisher and the Nana Launch Tech Water Curtain. Now the first one here, we'll have a look at the Automatic Fire Extinguisher, which of course is using the model of a... Uh, Monopropellant tank, sadly. Again, I do prefer original content, but oh well. Uh, again, beta. Hopefully those will come in time. And what this fire extinguisher does is it holds liquid CO2, and in case your ship does catch fire, you activate these fire extinguishers to try and put it out. Now, it's not guaranteed, but it's basically your last desperate hope to keep your ship intact before it's entirely engulfed in flames. So you may want a couple of these scattered around your ship, quite frankly. And yeah, that's its purpose. Now you activate it by right-clicking and hitting activate or deactivate on the button here. Sadly, again, because right now beta, there is not an action group sort of command you can use. As you see, when we select this, we have no available commands to issue. Hopefully that'll be fixed in the future, so for right now you do just have to right-click and activate from the button here. Now the other part, the Launch Tech Water Curtain, is more of a preventative measure. The idea for this one is that you activate it while you're still on the launch pad, and it will start basically spraying water over your ship. And what that'll do is that during your launch, the chance of a fire occurring on a part is cut in half. Now that doesn't guarantee that you still won't get a fire if you don't plan accordingly, but at least the chance of it happening is sort of, you know, cut in twain, which is a good thing. And yeah, these are the two parts, your preventative measure here and your, oh dear God, we're already on fire, please, please make it stop sort of measure right here. So what I've done to sort of show off how this works and how these different parts work, I've created this wildfire test vessel, which is a ship designed purely to die. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is, 
This is probably the first ship I think I've ever built with the actual intention of seeing it go kaboom. But, well, at least intentionally failing. But <laughs> it should work for our purposes, so let's go out to the launch pad and, uh... Yeah, we'll probably have to relaunch it a couple of times to show off various things, but overall, I think we should be good. Now, first thing to point out while we're out here is... Remember that I said in the VAB with these water tech curtains that it cuts the risk of fire in half, and you can figure out what that risk is by right-clicking any part, and you'll see we have the risk number right here. So this fuel tank has a risk of 73 for it to be cut on fire. So if we activated the curtains, that should be, you know, like 36-ish, somewhere around there. So it'll lower the chance of a fire occurring. And you can look at any part on the ship. We got a risk factor of 22 for the quad coupler, a risk factor of 44 for our engines, our fire extinguishers have a risk factor of 9, which completely makes sense. The stability enhancers, also a risk factor of 9, also makes sense. These are really supposed to be pretty sturdy things. But yes, that is the risk factor to your ship. Now, let's actually take a look at how fires occur. Now, I've set up this thing with a couple of these little uh, Separatron Mark 1s down here to light the bottom of the ship on fire, and essentially the fire at the bottom should spread all the way to the top. So if we just activate our engines down here, uh, I originally put these on hoping to make them overheat, but that proved more difficult than I expected. So let's just turn them off and uh, go with my plan B of the Separatron. There we go, we have a ship, or a fire on the ship, and you see that's already exploded. Our fuel tank is on fire and overheating, and there goes the rest of the ship. So you saw there that we got this visual warning of the ship is on fire, which is a good thing. And you also might have heard some sirens. I'll actually revert to launch, and let's be quiet for a moment so you can hear those sirens. Now you'll notice before, that fire spread pretty quickly, and that that is the danger in this mod. Now, of course, this is only basically three parts, because it's the uh, quad coupler that's catching fire first, then spreading the fire to the fuel tank, and then eventually the command pod. So on a much larger ship, it'll take a bit more time for things to spread. But if we do this again, and I will be quiet this time so you can hear the warning bells. There you go, we've exploded dramatically. And you saw on there that not only was the uh, part overheating, but we actually were also getting a fire particle effect for the actual fire. Any part that is, or has rather, caught fire with this mod will start emanating sort of ember-like particles out of it and smoking. And of course, we got those uh, warning sirens going as well to tell you that, oh yeah, crap, you're on fire, besides just the textual alert. Now, let's actually try out these uh, water tech curtains, which these, you can't activate by right clicking. They actually become a uh, staged section of your craft. So if we bring that to the first stage and hit, hit this, what it'll do is it's going to beep a couple of times, then start spraying water, and it also has sparklers for some reason. And once a long beep has finished, you should be good to launch. So let's hit spacebar. There we go. And you see we got the visual indicator up here telling us to launch. And it's continuing to beep, basically to tell you how long you have. Once the beeping stops, there we go, it just stopped, you no longer have the help from those water curtains. And see right now, there are still at 36. Oh, there it just went up to 73. So you can see that you don't have a whole lot of time with those water curtains, but you do get a little bit of an extra sort of uh, window of opportunity, which is good. Now this time, let's launch the ship again, catch it on fire, and this time we're gonna put the fire out. So let's start that. Ship is on fire, let's activate. There you go. 
And excellent, you got an all clear sort of warning, a nice little happy beep at the end once the fire extinguisher has put out the fire and you're fine now. And you can see it used not all of the uh, liquid CO2, but a sizable amount of it to put out that one fire. So that's why I say you may want a couple of them because, well, yeah, I mean, each of these doesn't hold a whole lot of uh, liquid CO2. So you'll want multiples of them around your ship. And that, that's how you put out a fire. And the ship should be good to go from here. Now that the fire has been put out, it should be able to continue on its way. Now, granted, this ship can't go anywhere because it's far too heavy, as you can see here. There we go, and we've destroyed the launch pad. <laughs> Sadly, I don't think we can put this fire out. And, oh, oh, we've tipped. We've tipped. It's going down. Ah, but our capsule survived, but is on fire. So you can see the particle effects. And it exploded. <laughs> Again, uh, that's one thing that I kind of have a beef with this mod for at the moment, is the amount of time that your ship is on fire. You literally only have seconds to deal with any fire that does occur. So if you aren't right on the ball and ready to, you know, click on whatever action needs to happen, uh, like the fire extinguishers, preferably, you're you're gonna die. You're gonna die a very quick, and, well, well, kind of quick-ish death, and it's not good. That's uh, also why I'm a little bit peeved that it isn't a uh, action group that you can put on one, two, three, etc. Because having to right-click an extinguisher and then click the button kind of makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, so I would prefer to be able to just hit the one key and be done with it. But again, still in beta, so hopefully those sorts of things will be worked out in the future. Uh, but until then, yeah, we just got a fun little method of catching our ships on fire. And who doesn't want that? Uh, but yeah, that is really all I have to show you for this mod. Uh, it's It catches things on fire. Then you can put out the fire with the fire extinguisher or try to mitigate the fire at launch by using the water tech curtains. Good times, good times. So if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, you can have a look at the link in the description as always. And I definitely say to give it a try because, well, it's just fun. Uh, but I do hope, of course, that you have enjoyed this episode today and that you do come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one. Now let's make this thing burn, baby, burn. Ah, uh, good times, good times. Later, folks. <laughs>